it is raining, snowing, cold, um, all of it. So right now I am moving the cars and I'll be turning around the Subaru and I will be putting it like half into the car shelter that I have so that it's not raining on me and put a little heater maybe close to close to me and I'll be working on the engine today. I will be changing the uh, valve cover gaskets and the spark plug seals as well because this car has uh, small leaks on the ground and also when you remove the spark plug you can see uh, oil around the spark plugs which is not it it doesn't do anything if I wouldn't tell you, you wouldn't even notice except for a bit of smell burning oil not too too much um, but aside from that you wouldn't even notice but regardless like it's a cheap part it's like 30 or 40 dollars um, the labor is usually more expensive than that uh, but since I'm doing it myself, I might spend maybe an hour or two changing all the gaskets, getting that done, um, and getting the car ready for the road. So let me move up the cars and I will uh, pull that guy into the car shelter, let it warm up a bit, and uh, get started. So this is it. This is where I'm going to be working. Hopefully it's not going to be too, too cold, but at least it's not going to be raining on me. Um, so let's unpick this and get started. I will be putting some lamps on so I can see properly. So this is where we're going to be more working. This side and that side. Uh, we're going to have to remove all of the wires so that they're out of the way. Remove all of this crap. Um, put it on the ground and uh, Hopefully we're going to be able to do this. Mm. Okay, so I'm back at it, um, getting started. I have the light set up here. I have another one right there that I'll be able to put down if ever I don't have enough light. Um, I do have the new uh, gaskets. So there are two, uh, one for each side, plus uh, two of those uh, rings, uh, two for each side as well. So I'll be putting this up here. It's not gonna hold. Okay, so um, I'll be starting with uh, one side. Doesn't really matter which one. I guess we'll start with the with the battery side. So what I'll be doing is I'll be removing the entire battery with all of the wiring. Once this is removed, remove the spark plug, remove the cover to be able to access um the bolts um so you guys are gonna see later on i think those are 10 millimeter bolts um on on the uh on the head well not the head but the valve cover so i think that there's like four or five so we're gonna have to remove all of them i think that this side is actually easier and from what i saw this side there's just one bolt that is a bit trickier to access than the others and i believe that some people even say that you have to jack up the engine to actually remove the cover which i don't believe but anyways once we get there i'll confirm to you guys what i had to do but ultimately it should be remove everything around tuck up the wires on the side um, remove the plugs remove all of that and then hopefully i'll be able to just pop open the the uh the valve cover lift it up change the seals slap okay, it back so on five minutes into it a little update um i have removed the bracket for the battery with the battery on that side this is the uh just the warmer i guess around the battery and that's what the battery sits on um i have tucked away the positive the negative and there is a ground that that attaches to the block right there with the bolt so all of that has been pulled away as you can see the spark plugs have oil and oil on them all over this should be completely dry i have even cleaned them like not too long ago and there's tons of oil on them again as you can see in the hole um there is some oil leaking so definitely those gaskets need to be changed uh there was a vacuum uh, that goes from the air canister up to here which i have also um removed 
Uh, there's some wires that are attached to the side, but I think that within five minutes, to be honest, I managed to remove most of, uh, remove most of it. Um, now we're gonna be uh, tackling these, all of those. I think there's three on the top, three on the bottom. They're 10 millimeter bolts, so we're gonna have to remove them. Um, and then I think we should be able to pop off the uh, the valve cover. So um, I'll get back to it. And if I ever run into any challenges, anything changes, I will keep you posted. So we're about two hours after I finished the last clip and it's not because I've been playing in the engine. It's because you need a 10 millimeter wrench. I have one, I had one and I lost it somewhere in the prelude uh, whenever I was doing the injectors and I cannot find it. So I checked with the light, I checked with the magnet, I cannot find the 10 millimeters. So I went to buy another kit. Um, the 10 millimeters is actually required because um, there is there are six bolts around uh, the valve cover. Uh, most of well, all of them you can do them with the ratchet. However, the back uh, lower one, you absolutely need a wrench to get to. Um, without a 10 millimeter wrench, you cannot remove that bolt. Um, there's just no way. So I will get to wrenching, uh, removing that bolt, and see what uh, we can find. What a freaking nightmare. Holy. So, even though we're working on a Japanese uh, car, we are definitely not working on a Honda. Uh, definitely can see that it's an engine that is sideways. Here's what I have. I have the uh, driver's side um, the valve cover with the disgusting um, spark plug. Uh, even the tip is like you know, fried, like there's not much left and it's full of oil. So it was definitely burning um, oil from there. But here's what this looks like. In order to pull this, I had to remove, well remove the two screws here with washers that hold uh, that are that hold the engine mounts so that I can jack up the car um, I don't know how many inches a few inches for sure maybe four inch or so uh, not jack up the car but I mean jack up the engine so that the engine can actually lift up to give us enough room to pull out um, this valve cover gasket what a nightmare holy crap I was not expecting that to be honest um, I thought that it would simply you know like pull sideways and would be able to remove it but i guess not so anyways um this is where we're at uh we have this removed uh we have this that is jacked up so we are ready to where are they put some brand new uh bosch uh spark plug platinum spark plug and the rings for the spark plug cover and the valve cover so I'll complete this side and put the battery back on and all of that, connect everything, and then we'll get started on the second side. Uh, I'll probably just leave the car jacked up like that for a bit so that I can hopefully remove the other side. Who knows what's gonna happen with the other side. In any case, back to cleaning everything, back to reassembly on this side. It's pretty straightforward, um, aside from the back bolt and actually having to jack up the engine, so that's that's kind of dumb. It takes a bit more time than uh, work, but anyways, so I'll get back to it. Okay, I had to film a bit more um, before I close this off, just to show you guys. I removed the spark plugs, like I was done removing them, but then I removed them from the ratchet. Look at this. Look at this disgusting look at look at the tip there's no more tip left this is horrible so definitely those gaskets were leaking like crazy um could explain why uh it was smoking a bit and it could explain why it actually smelled like oil because like the oil was getting onto the spark like there's no there's no question that that was part of the problem so I, I hope that there's nothing else that will be wrong with it, but everything else looks actually quite decent. So anyways, horrible, horrible. I'll get back to cleaning it. I'll clean it properly and reassemble it. 
So I didn't film the rest of it because it was basically just reassembly doing things uh, the reverse way. So this is what we have. We have the valve cover with new seals, new spark plugs. Um, the wires are cleaned up. Everything is reconnected. Everything is tightened properly. Uh, the battery is not there yet. I'm not going to be putting it. Vacuum line and all that is put. And now I am on the other side. I still have the, uh, the engine uh, jacked up because we are removing this side so i had to remove the uh the air box which we have at the back there uh with the with the uh with the bracket that holds it um down and we remove the one two three top um uh, the top three bolts at 10 millimeters once again and now we are doing it at the bottom so to give you guys a trick uh there is under the wheel right there um there is a I'm not sure if you can see there you go there's a plastic usually that is tightened there so i removed the plastic and from there uh with a crazy long extension and um, a pivot you can slide that in and be able to access um two out of the three bolts uh then you can basically remove it and the third one you should be able to remove it just by hand and the exact same thing as the other side once the engine is up in the air we should be able to uh just pull the the, the valve cover off and replace the seals and all of that okay it's getting cold it's foggy it's still raining like crazy but the engine is back together i have no bolts left so i assume that i did it right we'll start up the car it's gonna fume a bit because i added some uh Sea foam into the um, spark plug holes to actually clean them up with a toothbrush. Um, but ultimately, it should start well. It should be good to go. ABS light normal it's still on uh, but we have no check engine so spark and all of that is good there we go the sea foam not sure if you guys can see it tons of sea foam in the cylinders not well yeah the cylinders now there's a little noise coming from the belt not sure if it's maybe one of the pulleys uh, I'll probably just try to lube it up see if that uh, helps a bit and uh, clean up the engine bay uh, I'll be sanding down the headlights because they are foggy well they're not foggy from the inside they're foggy from the outside so I'll make that all pretty and uh, tomorrow once there's some light I'll take a look at the uh, ABS sensor because I believe one of them is cut but anyways it's running well uh, I was thinking that this job would be easier than it actually was it wasn't unfortunately um, definitely a lot of uh, work to get that done uh, the fact that the fact that the engines are sideways those boxer engine makes it a bit more difficult to access from the side it's all like a Honda for an example that has it at the top you just unscrew like 10 bolts and you're there this is uh, this one is uh, slightly a nightmare because everything's on the side Anyways, it's running, it seems like it's okay, I will probably take it for a ride tomorrow, but for today we are done, I spent too many hours on this, take it for a spin tomorrow and we'll see what, uh, how it performs. But anyways, hope you guys liked the video, if ever you have any questions regarding doing yours, I was there, been there, done that, so I can probably answer most of your questions. The EJ25 engines, I believe, regardless of the year, they are all positioned the same way. It should be pretty similar to access these these parts. So, anyways, hit me up if ever you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.